so so in your opinion the PC version is definitely not very good well compared to the normal one they fixed most of the problems with it now so but when I first bought it I mean I bought it a week after it came out and it still had problems like when I first started it up um, it wouldn't um, show the menu screen at all. Really? It updated my graphics drivers, updated everything to within an inch of its life, and it still wouldn't do anything, so... Also, you forgot yeah. to shout the title of this chapter. What was it? The Roar of the Sea. The Roar of the Sea! There we go. Uh, actually, that wasn't quite the right style, but... but yeah, yeah. Now, now the game's fixed, basically. It is very good. Uh. But the, pro the only problem I'd have is that it took them this long to fix it, but then again, they are Ubisoft, and they are really crap at PC games in mm. general. <laughs> Understanding what people want. Oh yeah, this is the ah. Uh, I know what level this is, so I need to get a move on. What happens? You'll see. Think about the title of the level. Uh, a, a giant. Oh right, tsunamis. I was gonna say a giant lion comes out of the sea and <laughs> vomits all over the place. I guess I don't know. That's what lions do. They vomit. <laughs> Collect this knowledge. I'm taking it you can't, like, take the stuff out from under totems or just move totems around. Uh. Yeah, they sort of just stack, they go up or down, usually. But usually when the village is built, um, they will flatten the land out around them. Oh, right, I see. Oh, look. There we go. <laughs> That's just. Oh, finding! Let's just make that a bigger bridge. And usually, when you get vegetation spreading on like sand, it turns it to earth, so it's less it's less likely to erode away under the sea. Oh, okay, I see. You can still pick up earth, can't you? Yeah. Right. But I don't want to hurt the trees. Oh yes. Clearly. See, when I first is, did this level, I tried to solve it by putting sand near the mouth of the water, but that did sod all. So I might as well just let him cross across here. Uh. Go! Go! No, don't go! No, no, he's gonna get washed away. It burns! Go! Go! Oh, while I hurriedly put sand everywhere! Well, you're kind of stopping it. Although it's now just flooding in the opposite direction. <laughs> Gather water! Well, we could spend the rest of the level doing this, I guess. <laughs> yeah, when the tidal wave comes. So that guy's got a kite, I notice. Yeah, that's the Repel Water uh, song, as they call them. Okay. I think he's made it now, so I can stop. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the pretty water. I prefer the snake to sort of zooming around. And then really going slow and then sort of spinning. It just Whee! can't stop moving. These guys are having a fun time. I'm sure they are, considering they're just standing around sort of kicking their What's heels. What's kind of strange, I don't know what happened, but like, uh, your villagers do get older. And you do have like, babies and crap, but... As they get older, their skin gets white. Really? I'm not sure why. Maybe there's like ash or something, but it seems kind of strange to me. Hmm. You can get sometimes you can get like albino ones running around, and they're quite funny. <laughs> so he is no longer our enemy because we have a kite. Kites kick ass. Right. So there's no point in me doing anything else because there's another totem over there. But there's no point in me trying to get there because the uh, the sea cometh. The sea cub off. Yeah, How rude. <laughs> <sighs> Pardon me. Right, let's uh let's create something. Let's do let's be let's make this water come down here. Is there any point of doing this? Nope, I'm just stalling for time really. Because I've got ten seconds until the tidal wave arrives. And if this is gonna do much? I'm just doing it for laughs, really. Yes, yeah, so a laugh. There we go. <sighs> oh yeah, stream. Oh yeah, here comes the tidal wave. Oh, here he is. Meow. We could probably we could probably save one person if we all stand on each other's shoulders. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's nice. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It is. Although then you you get people sort of trying to sort of, I don't know poke the outside of it just just to test the water and then get washed away and that'll be the <laughs> end of it. That guy didn't make it though. <laughs> what a fool! Now <laughs> swim. It's a woman actually. Swim, <laughs> woman. Do you think? Oh, is she gonna make it? Sometimes they do, but there is a lot of water behind her. Yeah. She's not having a pleasant time. She's I not kicking say. very well either. She's just, she's no. all arms. She's flailing, quite wildly. Ooh, there goes the rest of the tidal wave. I just heard an alert sound. Whoosh. Yeah, that was my why. that was my phone. Really? Yeah, my phone's text message sound is that of the Metal Gear Solid alert sound. It's one of the most bone chillingly southern and scary things yep. if you've played that. Every time my games. phone goes off, I jump. And then you get into a box. <laughs> yes. Stop destroying my vegetation. But yeah, the um when they do repel water or lava or whatever, um they play a, a song like a very like like they're playing lots of oboes and uh and didgeridoos, and the thing is, is that yeah, that's all very well, but it does get annoying when they're when like some water floods into a valley your village is in, and they're continuously repelling the water, so the song just doesn't stop. <laughs> yeah, along those lines. Right. Wait, an oboe? Oboe? Didgeridoo? I know what an oboe is, Zoo? but is an oboe particularly tribal then? I don't know. It's like. Uh, huh. They play tribal music, I don't know. I mean, if they're going to go for an over, they should just go all the way. Come on, get a saxophone in there, for God's sake. <laughs> I do like the effect, though, of when the when the when uh, you get a sort of ball of something, that swirliness. Looks a bit like a planet, but... Eh, not really. Yeah. Although with water, What's happening? It's, it's more like a bloop. Um, I'm getting them to go to the next village, which is oh. over here. I was going to say it just lagged a little bit, I think, but... My internet is not perfect. Well, no, but it's the best it can be. Right, they're going to start shouting at me now. Oi! You! Uh-oh! That was an amazing thing you just did, and you should feel proud, intensely so. I've got to save them now! Ah. You do Run. realize you're just displacing water back into the same place you're picking it out of. Yes, but I'm giving them I'm giving them time. Time is what they need. Have you got have you even got enough people? Uh oh. if, if that guy survives, yes. Run! You fool! If you went for being known as Frank. Oh no, he's not going to make it. I'm only forestalling the, f the inevitable here. Oh no, oh, oh, hold on. Oh. <laughs> you Frank, may have what are done you doing? it. Oh. Yeah, it looks like you have. Didn't even need to save him. Damn it, Frank. There's a woman anyway. Frank, Frankella. Francesca. Frankella? What? <laughs> Francesca. Francesca is the closest we'll get with that, and that's a bad name. So. Someone just died. The passage. You could almost say the back passage. <laughs> so that's that. I don't know if I can be bothered to do all the vegetation crap while we're uh, both playing it. So. Well, you play it, me. You're involved. Yes, yes. Um. Okay. I've got to build a bridge somewhere. Let's just dump that there for now. Go there, everyone. Now then, I could be logically think logically about this, but uh, no. Can't yeah, well, you're just gonna dump sand in. Dump there. sand everywhere and hope for the best. That's my tactic. <laughs> Look at that snake go. Yeah, at least it's nice to see a game that isn't guns. <laughs> yeah, all brown. Yes. Well, well, you say that. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's an awful lot of brown here, I think you'll find. Though it's a different kind of brown. A good brown. Uh oh. 
You keep inadvertently killing your people, or almost killing your people. I am not a benevolent deity. <laughs> it's a shame you can't get them to sacrifice animals for your. Uh, it's like, <coughs> it's like uh, nat you know, theory of natural selection. If they can't survive, or <laughs> if they can't pathfind, they don't survive. I'm sure there's enough of, of the you. Stupid. They're just charging towards it. I only need five. Mm. There's one just just chilling out over here. He's having fun. <laughs> He's having a laugh. He doesn't care. That's Jeff from accounting. Jeff from accounting. Yeah. He's uh, making his leisurely way back to the village. Yeah. Sporting his mask. And putting, badly. Up, putting up poles, apparently. Mm. Let's oh. go. Enter the cutscene. Should we do this next level then? That'll be it for this recording. Or... Yeah, sure. The giant wave of time. Cutscene. I love cutscenes. Really? No. Thank God. If you did, I'd have to sit you down in. <laughs> I'd just sit you down for a good friendly chat and force you to watch all of Metal Gear Solid Four. Good Lord. The first power. Yeah, he said we'd do this level and then uh, then hop off, but this is quite a lengthy level. Well, it seems like a good a good ending point then. I've done it. This level. I've done it before though, so I might be able to do it a bit faster than I did last time. What is the basic idea behind it? Also, wow, lava, cool. You're supposed to rebuild this seawall over here, because mm. otherwise the w the water from the tidal wave goes over into the villages. And there's no point in me doing this. N oh fuck it. Woo. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So there's an endless supply of lava, I notice. Yeah, because it's a volcano. I know, but the, uh, volcanoes don't have endless supplies of lava. Well, I wouldn't say I would say they do, since it's like the Earth's core. I know, but it would eventually erode away the entire Earth's core until it was nothing but a hollow shell. That would take some time, I'd imagine. Mm, and then we'd probably have no gravity, and we'd all just fly off into space. Except for the lucky few who who were inside at the time, <laughs> who just get stuck to their ceilings. Yep, and they have to form a weird society where people have to make walkways, but and hang between on to ceilings. Ground. Yep, they have to like use handlebars to travel between places. And at the start, everybody would be very sick. Eventually, we get used to it, though. Yeah. So. You're making this wall. Yeah, I gotta build this seawall up so that uh, when the next tidal wave comes, it doesn't wash into this totem and t wash away any villages I might put there. But uh, this is probably one of the, I wouldn't say annoying, but like the repetitive parts of the game where you have to just keep going backwards and forwards between two things. Not to say that games like Black and White weren't where you had to go like continue to do the rain spell on some fields for about half an hour. But, or keep throwing a ball for your creature to finally get it to learn how to how to fetch. Ugh. Especially in Black and White One, that was the best bit about Black and White One—the sense of achievement after you spent like an hour trying to teach your monkey to use fire, but not to burn your own villagers. Ugh, that fucking pet. <laughs> At least it, in Two, though, it was quite—they made it more intelligent. So they were like, told you what it was thinking, so you could tell it no or yes. But in Black and White One, you just had to. <laughs> just haphazardly guess at what it was thinking. Oh god, they're calling it the womb of the earth. The womb of the earth. The, 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 they're really, really piling on the horrible imagery, you realise. Womb. <laughs> Collect the red lava from the womb of the earth. <laughs> mm, from the earth mother, her womb of redness. Tasty. Oof. 